Hey, hello, and welcome to the Roadmap to Disease Prevention webinar. I am so excited that you are here, and I cannot wait to dive into all the topics prepared for you today, the 12 steps that you can start taking today to improve your health and start preventing disease. So let's go ahead and dive in to the good stuff. When you hop on, let me know where you are tuning in from, what you're most excited to learn about today in this webinar. And if you're comfortable, share with me one thing that you are currently struggling with, whether that be a symptom or a fear or anxiety around your health, I'd love for you to drop that in the chat. You can even send it to me only in the chat to kind of really just have someone come alongside you, hold your hand and give you some accountability throughout the next several weeks, months, years, while you implement some of these steps that we talk about today. So one of those steps is going to be the very first one, and that step is the hardest. Now, maybe you decided to tune in today because you're feeling a little defeated. This spring, when you were in the Target dressing room, you picked out a bathing suit in your favorite color, and you put it on. You were so excited about it, and you were a little bit disappointed. You did not see the results that you were really hoping for, the ones that you feel you've been working so hard for. You've been eating healthy. You've been exercising. You've been drinking your water and nothing seems to be working. Friend, if you are in that place, I have been there too. And I completely understand. But the good news is that you don't have to stay there. There is a way for you to move out of that space and the way to do that is through disease prevention and really feeling confident, knowing that everything you're doing on a daily basis is working inside of your body to change your health. Now, the other reason that you might be here is simply because you have a family history of chronic illness. Maybe it is not very prevalent, Maybe you're really confident and comfortable in your body already, but you know that there might be one more step that you can take in order to prevent disease. So just know that you are not alone in that. There are so many people out there who have family members with a history of disease. In fact, chronic illness is incredibly prevalent. It is very common, but it is not normal. Today, we are really going to focus on highlight the four core killers, which are heart disease, cancer, diabetes, and then inflammation and autoimmune disorders. Now, the reason that we're talking about these things is because they are preventable. Heart disease is one of the top two leading causes of death in the United States every year for the last several years, and it is 80% preventable. 80% of all heart disease cases, atherosclerosis, heart attack, stroke, 80%, 80% almost all of them are preventable and nobody is teaching us how to do that. Cancer, we are told that it just runs in your family. You wait until you get it and that's that, right? If it runs in your family, you just live under this umbrella of, I'll probably get it one day, so might as well not worry about it now. It's just gonna happen and that sucks, but that's the way it is. It does not have to be that way. Depending on the type of cancer, 30 to 50% of all cases are preventable. Going on down the list at diabetes, type 2 is 90% preventable. Nine out of every 10 cases of type 2 diabetes is preventable. And so the next time somebody tells you that it runs in the family, 
and it's just something that your family gets, I challenge you to rewrite the script, to take control back of the narrative because you can. Your lifestyle factors influence 90% of your likelihood of developing disease. Those are pretty good odds. So why not take the first step today? Now, inflammation is a little bit of a fun one because inflammation and autoimmune disorders are typically never the cause of death. However, they are present as an underlying condition in these three. And so it makes sense that if we can reduce inflammation, you can reduce your risk of developing these core killers. Right now in all deaths, looking at three out of five, inflammation and autoimmune disorders were an underlying condition in other preventable conditions. So it's kind of a, a long drawn out way of saying three out of every five deaths from preventable conditions like heart disease, like cancer, like diabetes also had inflammatory markers or an underlying autoimmune condition. So while inflammation and autoimmune disorders may not be a true trigger or a true killer, what they can do is increase your risk of developing those diseases that will kill you. Okay. So now that you know that, now that you're educated with that, let's talk about the yellow brick road that will lead you directly to a preventable disease. Obviously, this is a road that you want to try and avoid if at all possible, but listen, I get it. It is hard. Our standard American diet does not make it easy to prevent disease. All of the sugary, highly processed options in the grocery store do not make it easy to say no. I also enjoy a cookie and some ice cream every once in a while. But when we look at the roadmap to preventing disease, you first have to zoom out and look at the road that takes you to disease, right? So tell me in the chat if you are familiar with any of these concepts that are coming up. The first step down that path to destruction is inflammation. Inflammation has been shown in cell slides in almost every single case of chronic illness. So someone with cancer, their slide on a microscope may show cancer cells, but it will also show inflammation. Someone with heart disease cannot have a heart attack if their arteries and vessels are not first inflamed. Inflammation is incredibly important and a lot of times when your body is inflamed, it is under additional stress and you might actually start to experience insulin resistance just because of the imbalance of chemicals within your body. How incredible is it that your body can regulate the amounts of hormones, the levels of chemicals, and either become sick or return to a healthy homeostatic point? It's pretty dang cool. And I want you to resonate on that topic a little bit. Insulin resistance, inflammation, it can do two things in the body. Your body can continue down a path of destruction toward disease, or you can help your body heal and walk back two steps. Now, if we're looking at the way to disease, we are going to continue down the path past insulin resistance into disease-friendly environment. Now, this can mean a lot of different things, but what you really should think about it as is the environment where your hormone levels are off, stress is really high, your circadian rhythm, your sleep routine is not really normal. And if it is, it's not long enough. Did you know that the brain detoxes itself every night at the eight hour mark. It is completely clear and flushed out. 
So if you are consistently not getting eight hours of sleep each night, you are not doing your brain any favors. And that is where we start to see the inflammation creep in, which can repeat this cycle and or promote it to the last stage of the path, which is chronic illness. Now, this is the path that leads to disease, but my friend, you have a lot more control than you have been led to believe. It does not just run in the family. You have a lot of power, and here are the three main ways that you can really take hold and control that power. Number one is going to be quality. Now, with all of these topics, we're talking about food. Food has the power to heal, and you can actually use food as your first line of medicine in many cases. So quality of your food matters. There is a viral TikTok going around right now about some people who have celiac, which is a gluten intolerance or an allergy to gluten. They are gluten intolerant in the United States. And they travel overseas to Italy, France, European countries, and they enjoy things like bread, pasta, pizza, and they have none of the same issues with their digestive tract as they do here when they consume gluten. The reason for that is because the quality of food is different. In those European countries, they are making everything fresh and homemade weekly, if not daily. They are not only relying on grocery store staples. The process of preparation is entirely different and that is why they're not having these issues when they're eating the freshly prepared foods. The way chemicals from food break down in your body can act as medicine and sometimes it can act as poison, both figuratively and literally. Too much of a good thing is not a good thing. If you eat too many apples and accidentally consume an apple seed, multiple apple seeds can cause cyanide poisoning and ultimately death. So this is a true game of moderation, which we'll get to in just a minute. But the real kicker here is that investing in higher quality products, produce, meat products, as well as personal care products, beauty products, your household cleaning products, the quality of everything in your living space matters much more than you might think. So here are a couple of tools that you can use to focus on topic number one, which is quality. Grow your own fruit and vegetables at home if possible. Now, this can be done in a multitude of different ways. Maybe you have a backyard where you can have a pretty substantial garden and even can and preserve and freeze some fruits and vegetables for next year or even into the winter months. Maybe you can grow just a couple of things out on your balcony or on your back patio. Having a couple of things that are fresh homegrown makes a dent. It makes a difference if you are reducing your intake of the pesticides used commercially. If you are reducing the amount of time it takes for a vegetable to travel from the field to your home, to your plate, that is a good thing. So whatever you can do, you should try. Even if this looks like going to the farmer's market and purchasing something that was locally grown, if you don't have access to growing things yourself, there are even options now for indoor vertical gardens where you can grow vegetables, herbs, and flowers. You can grow in your living room and eat in your dining room. There are so many options, and this is just to encourage you to check them out and see what might be available and feasible for you and your family and your lifestyle right now. Number two, purchase grass-fed local meat if possible. This is another hot topic on the internet right now, the argument between grass-fed and traditionally raised cattle animals, truly. Um, now, what I will say 
is that there are some really strong marketing tactics inside the meat industry. Okay, so let's get that out in the open. Uh, did you know that a free range chicken must have one square foot of grass accessible to it for 24 hours a day up to like a couple thousand chickens. And so a chicken in the back of the barn is never going to see the light of day, which means it really wasn't free range. Some of these marketing tactics and kind of skirt around things that have started happening in the meat industry have made it a really good idea to check into local farmers and butchers. Now, when it comes down to the grass-fed argument, it is the quality of the fat of the animal that we're looking at. So getting entirely specific here, because that's truly the only major difference, the quality of the fat in a cow that is grass-fed versus a cow that is not grass-fed is very, very different. The grass-fed fat is going to be a lot healthier for your body. It has more nutrients in the fat and it is a lower quantity and degree of saturated fat. And we know that saturated fat can lead to heart disease. So check Facebook, check Google, see what local farmers markets have to offer. You would be absolutely shocked and hopefully thrilled to find out how many options you might have within 30 minutes of your house to get a farm fresh chicken from a small family. Another tip that you can do is take five minutes in the morning, at noon, and at night to reset with deep breathing. The quality of your breath matters. The quality of your mindset matters when we're talking about disease prevention. There are no studies truly published yet, but from stories from doctors to surgeons to oncologists, there's something about a positive mindset that makes patient outcome so much better. If you can take just a couple of minutes to breathe, to center yourself, and to become the type of person that thinks positively, you are truly healing your body at the cellular level. And finally, on the notion of quality, slow down and set boundaries on screen time and stressful activities. We talked a little bit about stress and that hormone cortisol. When it is too high, the body cannot be optimal. And if you want your body to function optimally so that it can fight disease, reducing stress is a really good idea. So as often as you can, one easy way to do that is going to be to shut phones, shut TVs, shut computers off 30 minutes earlier, 15 minutes earlier, five minutes earlier, if that's all you can give. But the blue light and the stimulation from technology actually raises our cortisol levels and induces stress response in the body. So that is one simple way that you can start reducing stress, even if you can't necessarily change many other circumstances right now. Okay, I hope you have your notepad out if you've got all of that jotted down because we are moving into step number two, which is quantity. The quantity of your food also matters. There is no secret that there is an overeating epidemic in the United States. And the way that you can think about this is if you have an old school balance, the one that you know represents the judicial system and has the weights on both sides that kind of balance on this fancy old looking thing. Picture that in your head, okay? Now this concept of balance has been really played out in the health and wellness industry. Balance your meals, live a balanced life, enjoy sweets and eat a salad, you know, have a stressful job and go hiking on the weekend. Those are all fine and great things. But when you think about it, if you achieve balance on that scale that I just mentioned, you are giving equal value to both sides. You're giving 100% to everything. 
And if you want to prevent disease and live a healthy life, balance, keeping everything the same, is not what's gonna do that. You want to tip the scales in your favor. You want to add more of the good stuff so that it outweighs the not so great stuff. And this category, the stress, the lack of sleep, the fast food, that is lighter and it occurs less often because this category of your healthy habits is outweighing it by a long shot. So next time you think about balance, think about it just a little bit differently. What you're really aiming for is moderation. Enjoying a milkshake in moderation. Enjoying your favorite dinner in moderation. Having stressful situations in moderation. Nothing is going to be perfect. All you can do is try to be better than you were yesterday. And if you continually aim to be 1% better every day, by the end of the year, you will be 365% better than you were today when you started. Those are pretty good odds. Now, when we're talking about quantity, something that you can do with your food is going to obviously be reduce the portion size as well as the frequency of processed foods. Not all processed foods are terrible options. No food is a bad for you option. Some foods are less nourishing than other foods. Some things need to be consumed very wisely in specific seasons of life. If you have really high inflammation, you need to pinpoint focus on reducing inflammatory foods for right now. It doesn't have to be forever. But what you really want to do is make sure that you're just being mindful of practicing moderation so that you can tip the scales, okay? Next up is to read labels carefully, really carefully. And what I mean by that is flipping it over to the back and looking at the ingredients list. Know what you need to look out for and limit it whenever possible. This all comes into the consume in moderation, not in balance idea. And what you can really do is start to zoom out most of the time you are in here with your blinders on, right? You're thinking about today, you're thinking about the next thing, the next meal, you have your blinders on, you're just trying to make it to bedtime. But what if you zoomed out and looked at your week as a whole? Overall, how did you do in terms of tipping the scale? Did you work out most days? Did you eat a healthy balanced dinner most days? Did you eat dessert most days? Did you not drink your water most days? Sometimes life gets busy and it's not always going to be perfect or even favorable, but as often as you can do the best that you can to maintain a healthy ratio, moderation, balance to your healthy habits and to the things that you know might not be health promoting, but that increase the quality of your life. Okay, making sense? Let me know in the chat if this is all making sense, if you have any questions and we'll come back to them at the end. Okay, now number three, this third main pillar of preventing disease is order. There is an order that you can eat your food in, to reduce your blood sugar spikes. And when you do that, you reduce the inflammation in your body and you reduce your risk of developing insulin resistance. And there you have already knocked out two steps on the path to disease, okay? Now this might sound really commonsensical. It might sound like, oh, like that makes sense. But this tool of order in practice makes so much difference. It all starts with fiber. Fiber comes first. I had a client back in March who was struggling with prediabetes. 
his blood glucose was not being managed very well at all. And he started implementing this idea of order into his meals. So before we had even started on a meal plan or really changing any of his lifestyle factors on his own, he started adding fiber before anything else. So when he would sit down for dinner, he would eat his veggie first. At breakfast, he would eat his fruit and then his protein, his fat, his carbohydrate. In two weeks, this client dropped 2% body fat and lost two inches in his waist. Those are impressive stats, but the biggest thing that he did was reduce his blood glucose by 20 points. And with that, he increased his lifespan, his potential longevity by, I think it was 5%. That is really what we're doing here. The order in which you eat your food has a direct impact to how long you live and the quality of life that you will have. In preventing disease, especially diseases like diabetes and heart disease, the order you eat your food in matters. So what you can start doing today is increase your intake of fruits, veggies, nuts, and seeds. Those foods are all very high in fiber. They're going to increase the volume of food that you're eating so that you can feel more satisfied with less food. And when you do that, eat your greens first. Whatever fruit or veggie is on your plate, make sure that you go in for that before you choose anything else. This is truly what makes the difference in reducing your blood sugar numbers. And that is what makes the difference in preventing disease long-term. Now, before you do any of this, you should really assess what order food holds on your life. What do you mean by that, Bailey? Great question. I'm so glad you asked. Assess what order food holds in your life. Does food hold a very high value? Do you respect food and what it can do for your body? Or do you have a negative relationship with food? Do you despise food? Do you feel out of control around food? The order that food holds in your life is very important when assessing not only your relationship with food so that you can eat more health promoting things and feel really good about yourself both internally and externally, it really helps your mindset get in that place of, hey, I am doing this for a healthy body and that healthy body might not look exactly like I want it to look, but I know that I will feel strong, I will feel energized and I will feel like my best self when food holds the correct order in my hierarchy. Okay, and finally, you can order your food throughout the day Keep sweets contained to later in the day meals and make sure that they are eaten after, after or with another meal, okay? Sweets should ideally never be eaten on their own. And the real value in keeping them later in the day is that you will probably feel a little bit more satisfied already because you've been eating healthy, moderate meals throughout the day that contain all of the macronutrients that you need. And then you can enjoy sweets while still feeling in control around them. You can enjoy a bite or a piece or a couple of sips and not feel like you have to finish the whole thing and binge on what's in front of you just because you can't have it any other time of the day. If you do all of these things, there's a way that you can prevent disease. If you start all of these today and you're not having any symptoms or problems yet, you can start the progression of disease. You can stop the progression of disease right there at the beginning with inflammation. You nip it in the bud and it's done. You are doing the right things. You are feeling good and you know that you're preventing disease. If you're already down the path a little bit, you can still prevent it there. 
if you have insulin resistance, if you have high blood pressure, high cholesterol, inflammatory markers, you can still reverse and prevent disease from occurring. Even if you are in that disease-friendly environment, you're really not feeling great and you know that you need to make a change, you can still make that change and experience big results. At any point on this road toward disease, you can make a change and stop it in its tracks. You hold the power to change your lifestyle and to change the outcome of this yellow brick road. Because realistically, this yellow brick road could also lead to a long, happy, and healthy life if it was flipped in reverse and we had health promoting aspects at every step of the journey. The truth, my friend, is that you always hold the control. It is never, hear me on this, it is never too late to invest in your health, to make the changes necessary, and to improve your well being. That can be done at any age, at any stage of life. You hold so much more power than you have been told. And I'm really excited to share with you that there is a way that next year, next spring, you can walk into Target and see a super cute bathing suit in your favorite color, grab it off the hanger, walk into the fitting room, and glow when you try it on. Remember back at the beginning, we were talking about feeling like it just didn't fit right, it just didn't look right. Imagine how you would feel if you were entirely confident and your expression just glowed with happiness when you tried on that bathing suit. You put it back in the cart, you walk your happy little self up to the register and the cashier says, oh my gosh, this is so cute. And you smile and just think in your head about how this year your kids will have a present mom at the beach. Your kids will leave with memories that mom and dad got in the pool and played with them instead of hiding out under the umbrella. That is the picture that you really want to see. Having your kids have the memories of a present and joyful parent. And if that is what you want to see, there is a way. If that is the picture that you really want to see, your right next step is going to be a food fight. Your body fights disease every single day of the year. Every single day, it just knows what to do and it does it all on its own. But what if the way that you ate could optimize your body's ability to fight so that you never even have to worry about it. It is a back burner thought in your brain because you are taking care of yourself well. Right now, starting today, Food Fights Disease courses are open for enrollment and there are four options for you. Let's make that five. There are five options for you to get started. These courses were designed so that you can understand the illness that runs in your family. So there is an option for heart disease, cancer, diabetes, and autoimmune and inflammation separately so that you can take a deep dive on whatever disease runs in your family, understand it, and take control of the habits that you need to implement to prevent that disease. And that's entirely possible with these tools in your back pocket. You are going to start to understand what your genetics mean, what impact they have. And all along the way, you will receive so much support, so much handholding so that you can get your questions answered and make this a customized experience to your needs. Now, if this sounds interesting to you, let's talk about what's included. 
what's in it for you. Don't be overwhelmed because it is a lot. These courses are packed with education, training, and information so that you can leave the eight-week course not only feeling confident that you are preventing disease, but you can start to change the legacy of your family by showcasing these tools in your home, by showing your family, your children, what it looks like to live a life that is preventing disease. How incredible would it be if 50 years from now, you are the reason that cancer doesn't run in your family anymore? That your kids, your grandkids, even their kids have a different life legacy because of the choices that you made today. That is possible and you hold the control to be able to do that, to be able to change generations to come. So these courses have eight weekly training videos dropped in your inbox, an interactive workbook to follow along with and take notes in. And then every other week, you and I sit down for a group coaching session. You bring your questions, we answer them live, and we really dive into how to make this group course customized to your needs. One of the really uh, exclusive and fun ways to do that is going to be with the exchange list for the meal plans. So you get four meal plans that are seven days long, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks included in each meal plan, as well as that exchange list that I mentioned, so that any food that you don't like, that you don't enjoy, that you don't tolerate well, you can swap it out and know that you are still getting a health promoting option. So if you don't like broccoli, you do not have to eat broccoli to be healthy. You heard it here first. You don't have to eat foods that you don't enjoy. And on the flip side of that coin, you can eat foods that you love and still experience results. On top of all of those tools, you have direct access to me, to my expertise so that I can answer your questions via our members community app. And you have an engaged group of people in community who just get it. They know what it's like to hear it runs in the family and feel that little bit of dread that one day you're just gonna walk into the doctor's office and your reality is having disease. It doesn't have to be that way. And there are plenty of people out there who understand that and are investing in this course right alongside you. Arguably the most valuable piece of what you're getting is the lifetime access to this information. So you don't only get this eight week training. You get all of the future eight week trainings for your food fight. Now I mentioned that there are five options and I only list out four. There is an all in membership package where you can learn all about all of the diseases. Maybe a couple of them run in your family Maybe you're just really interested in living the absolute best and healthiest life that you can. If overall health is important to you, the all-in members membership, the all-in membership is going to be the right fit for you. And what that means is that after your year-long membership, you get lifelong access to all four courses. Whenever new meal plans come out, you're the first to get them. You have access to exclusive private podcasts, YouTube tutorials, blog posts. There is so much packed into these courses for you. And I know your next question is gonna be like, wow, that sounds amazing. How much is it? It can't be cheap, right? Nothing worth having ever comes cheap or free, right? You know that better than anyone. Here we've broken it down by each piece. So everything that I just listed out has a price right here next to it. And that lifetime access to the course truly is priceless. Truly is priceless because forever and ever, amen, 
you are going to get the fresh new content. You are going to get the fresh new community members who have a different point of view than you do and might ask questions that you never would have thought of that can still help you. Now, all of this adds up to $1,725. Your price is just $823.50, including tax. Under $850 to experience lifelong change, to experience generational change, to break the curse of it runs in the family and craft a new story for your family to follow for generations to come. That's not all. For being on this webinar, for investing your time into your health, you are invited to a bonus opportunity. So if you decide to enroll within 24 hours of watching this training, the deadline will be Saturday, June 18th at 11.59 p.m. Eastern time. If you enroll in your food fight or your all-in membership by then, you will get an additional free one-on-one -on -one coaching session worth $100. This coaching session is dealer's choice. You can have it before we get started or after you've wrapped up the program so that you can either start really strong or take everything you learned in the eight weeks and transform it into real lifestyle change by asking questions, making tweaks that are unique to you. This is a once in a lifetime offer because of the way that it is customizable for your needs and the way that you can ask questions to make it change and grow with you. The lifetime access to this course is what allows you in different seasons of life. Maybe right now you are in a really stressful job and in a couple of years you won't be. You can come back and retake the course and change the way that you're living, change your health. When you're pregnant, you can come back and retake the course, relearn the material, implement new areas into this specific season to make sure that you are healthy at all stages of life. Here's the thing. Today is, you know, I'm gonna change one day, or today is day one of making the change that needs to be made. You know that right now your body is not optimized to prevent the disease that runs in your family. But you also know that there is a way, there is a course that can help you optimize your insides so that it reflects on the outside, but also so that in 20 years, you can sit down at your annual checkup and know that there's nothing to be worried about. So let me ask you, is today one day? I'll do it one day. Or are you choosing to make today day one of your healing journey? If you are ready to take the leap, you can do it in the way that fits best for you, that fits best for your lifestyle, that fits best for your budget right now. There are pricing plans available for each of the four Food Fights courses, and the all-in one-year membership is a low monthly fee that is almost lower than any of the pricing plan options available for just one course. It is truly a fantastic deal. You get lifetime access to all of the courses, and you get an entire course for half off when you invest in the all-in membership. Take a look at these, take a screenshot, sit with it and see what feels good and make your choice so that you can enroll by tomorrow to get your bonus one-on-one -on -one coaching session. I am so excited and so thrilled for you to be getting involved in this program, getting into the community that's going to encourage you to change your life. I cannot wait to see you for the first day of school on June the 20th when all of these programs will start.
And I'd love to go back, ask and answer whatever questions you have. If you have any thoughts, go ahead and drop them in the chat. If you are ready to jump in, drop in a me, I'm ready, let's get started. I will put the link in the chat and that is how you can enroll. If you have any other questions that you don't want answered live right now, please shoot me a quick message or an email, bewellphc at gmail.com, or you can shoot me a text at 301-667-5005. I will drop all of that contact information in the chat so that you can get matched with the program that's going to be best for you right now in the season that you're in, and you can get started on preventing disease right now. Thank you so much for joining me. It was such an honor to share these 12 steps with you and invite you into the course that will change your life, change your health story, and potentially change the story for generations to come. I'm so proud of you for everything that you have done up to this point and everything that you will continue to do, hopefully alongside me in your food fight.